Hi, my name is Micah Harkins, and I'm here again with another mystery box unboxing from Etsy. Today we've got a box from Collectio Secretum, or as I like to call her, Ashlea. Ashlea is one of my favorite sellers on Etsy, and she has a wonderful shop full of herbs and crystals and all kinds of spiritual stuff, including mystery boxes. Um, and this time, she made a box specifically for me. Um, this is a custom box, uh, not her typical order box, because I contacted her and I told her what all I had and what all I wanted and things that I was interested in. Anyway, she will do the same thing for you. If you would like to have a custom box made, uh, you know, with your preferences or things you don't want, uh, she can do that for you. Ashley is wonderful at, at making things that are custom. Um, so what I received was I received a cute letter from her with her uh, logo on it. And it said um, inside... Thank you so much for your purchase. Let me know if you are not 100% satisfied. And she also said, sending you good vibes, blessings, Ashlea. Thank you, and blessings to you too. And we're going to get started opening this box here, which is a fairly large box. And uh, I believe, you know, these are some of the most interesting items on Etsy or what I find in these mystery boxes because you never know what you're going to find in here. And as I open it up, I see a bunch of goodies in here. And like I said, these are specific to me from what she knows about me anyway. So uh, the first thing I see here is this beautiful pentagram feather, which is this bright purple magenta color. And on one side of it, as you can see here, there are actual little pentacles all over this uh, feather that are imprinted on there in black. So this would make a beautiful ritual feather for fanning your smudge sticks or bringing in the element of air. Really beautiful feather. And it's labeled. I should say that she does a wonderful job of labeling everything that she sends. And so that says right there, Pentagram Feather. And it has her logo on it. So that is absolutely beautiful. And then, let's see here. The next thing I see is something I love, uh, which is her Bast Protection Candles. Uh, I've had one of these from her before. I specifically asked if she could include another one and uh so this is this is what she sent and it's absolutely perfect um let me get this open here and i will show you what it looks like it is a beautifully scented candle i love the fragrance here i believe she said it was uh maybe bergamot and say either bergamot and sage and bergamot and patchouli but it's it's a really fresh, refreshing smell. And if you look in there, you can see that there is a little acorn to symbolize wealth and prosperity. Uh, there's a piece of what looks to be obsidian in there. And there are some crushed herbs on the top that are sacred to bast. So that is a beautiful candle and it's for protection and it's got even a beautiful Bast Protection logo on it. Um, so thank you for that, Ashley. Uh, that was a wonderful surprise. Now we're going to get into some of these other things. Um, let's see here, there's a box here. It is labeled Incense Burner. So if I can open this right, let's see here. Tape. Make sure I have everything out of there. That's a good bo uh, good point, is especially with these mystery boxes. Make sure you look in every nook and cranny. Uh, I sell some mystery boxes myself sometimes, and 
I tuck things in the strangest places. Wow. This is awesome. This is a genie lamp made into an incense holder on the top. And once I pull it out of the bag that it came in for protection, and it's even got a dampener on it, which is great. That beautiful, beautiful brass. And let's see if I can turn my light on here. There we go. Now you can see the beautiful brass and the the actual inside is empty. Uh, there was a... Aha! I lost my plate. Here is the plate that sits on the top of it. And I've got to hold that on to show you. And then there is actually a spout. So I'm not sure if you could sit your incense in there. But you can definitely sit it on top. And here's your dampener if you need to put it out at the end. So that is a gorgeous genie lamp incense burner. I love that. And then we have this huge offering plate. Uh, it's marked altar offering plate. So you can put it on your altar. And I'm sure not only is it good for offerings, but also holding a candle or holding a candle holder. You can see there it has a intricate pattern with a star on the front. And it's got three legs on the bottom and her sticker. And it's a nice solid metal material, so it can hold up to heat. So this is a beautiful, I don't know if you can see that sheen and that sparkle, but it definitely sparkles. Um... Uh, Beautiful altar offering plate. And then we have some books. Wow. Now, I love books. I'm, I'm a reader. I am definitely a reader. I love to read books. I love all kinds of books uh, from horror to sci-fi, fantasy, uh, and Pagan and Wiccan uh, books. This one is called Mastering Witchcraft, A Practical Guide for Witches, Warlocks, and Covens by Paul Hewson. And this it was published originally in 1970. So it's gone through a, a few reprints, but it is full of wonderful information that is summarized. Let's see if I have an index here. Okay, so we've got first steps as a chapter. We've got preliminary preparations, divinations, uh, spells for lovers, counter magic and protection, vengeance and attack. Be very careful, folks. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't send this to a newbie. Uh, she... <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Um, and the coven and how to form one. I'll keep my comments to myself. Um, and then there's the planetary hours appendix and glossary of which wor words and terms. Um, so this is definitely one I'm going to be checking out. I really like the looks of this. So thank you for that one. And there's another huge book she sent here on witchcraft medicine which she knows that I do a lot of work with healing and a lot of work with Reiki and a lot of work with healing spells as well as just, ju uh, you know, good vibes in general. And it's by actually three people, Claudia Mueller Eberling, or Ebeling, uh, Christian Roch, and Wolf Dieter Stroll. Stoll. Stroll. I'm probably butchering that. But um, this, has, this is fully illustrated. And it has a lot of depictions of plants, trees, um, and different types of herbs and their uses. 
with fully colored illustrations in it. Um, I'm absolutely amazed by this book. This is a great, great book. Um, I'm going to be here a long time reading through this, and this is definitely not one of those read and go. This is definitely a read and reference. So keep it, reference it. It has healing arts, shamanic practices, and forbidden plants, which uh, I assume they're not talking about marijuana there. Um, <laughs> but I am interested in finding out what the contents of the book art has some beautiful artwork um i just wanted to share that particular photo there that is a great image it has some beautiful stuff in it thank you so much ashley that's a beautiful book and then we have an amazing notebook that is absolutely stunning as you can see, there is a skull with a butterf with butterflies and a rose, and it's 3D on there, and the rose is on the back. So, this one, I'm going to open up because it has a plastic cover over it. I don't know if you can tell on there. And that's what it looks like. And inside it is a lined journal. And inside it has the dates at the top. And lined journal pages. Some of them are an antique color. Um, to allow you to have different sections. And there is a ribbon to hold your place. So this is a beautiful notebook. I love it. I have no doubt that I will treasure this. And then we've got an incredible mag uh, not magnet, copper bracelet. Um, copper bracelets have a lot of medicinal use. Uh, it's said to improve circulation and improve energy transfer as well because of the, because of the metal. And it has three pentacles on it and some decorative work that looks a bit like Celtic knotwork right there. And that is a really nice, even masculine, copper bracelet. And it really does a good job of fitting on me. I like that. So that, that is masculine enough for a man to wear. And I appreciate that, Ashley. Yeah? Um, usually I get a lot of jewelry for my wife. Um, it's very rare that I get jewelry for myself. So I really like that. I appreciate it. And then finally, we have another thing that, um, creepy warning if you're, if, if you get eked out by animal parts or oddities or, or anything like that, now's the time to turn your head away. Um, she sent me something I think is completely awesome which is a fisher paw. Now, if you don't know what a fisher is, it is a small little uh, weasel-like animal. It's kind of like a, a weasel, a stoat, or a ferret kind of animal. You'd have to look it up there. Uh, do a Google. Google search it. Google search, search fisher. Um, they're usually up north in the United States or in Canada. Um, and this is one of their paws, which is perfectly dried and kept. You can see the perfect paws there. I'm going to turn my light on again. There we go. So you can see the actual paw itself. That is very wicked, very cool, very awesome. I love that. So that is a fisher paw. Um, and if you've never heard of a fisher, Google it. They're some of the cutest animals. They really are. They're adorable. So this is a fisher paw. got to be careful there because it has a loose nail on it. But that is an awesome fisher paw. So 
that wraps up our box for today. Um, I did want to add one more thing that I bought separately for my wife, Lexi, uh, who loves uh, dragonflies. And since she loves dragonflies, and since Ashley I had this available on her website, first I should say it's packaged with the sweetest little twine and acorn charm on it. And it's a good thing my wife is sitting right here, so I can give this to her immediately. But I'm going to take this out so you can see it. It has a holder for your incense stick. And it has a dragonfly motif on the bottom. So, she did not just send the dragonfly uh, incense holder. She also sent a bunch of sticks of incense in the uh, scent of first rain. So, and which is wonderful because my wife loves water fra fragrances. China rain is one of her favorite perfumes. And uh, I have no doubt that first rain or fresh rain or any of those kind of scents, she's going to love it. So I am going to gift you with this now. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, oh, you. say thank you to Ashley. And uh, thank you. <laughs> she loves it. And we love you, and it was an amazing box that I just got to go through. I, I got some of the coolest stuff, and it was definitely worth every penny. Um, I love Ashlea, and I love her stuff at Collectio Secretum. Uh, Collectio Secretum is spelled C-O-L-L-E-C-T-I-O. -E Secretum, S-E-C-R-E-T-U-M. Dot Etsy dot com or easier just click the link right below here in the description where I'm going to leave it and you can go straight to her Etsy shop and buy one of these cool mystery boxes for yourself and get all this and much more and hang in there for another video really shortly after this um, of one of her more typical boxes that she sends out to customers that um, she hasn't had 500 conversations with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cover another box of hers very here shortly as one of my next videos so that you will see what she normally sends to customers. Um, but I do want to thank her for going out of her way every time to be so kind and thoughtful in what she packages and what she sends to me when I order it what is inevitably going to be another mystery box and for all of her thoughtfulness and in, in doing that she has dealt with uh, the u.s postal system of minneapolis st paul area which zero stars do not recommend uh, i uh, we we've had so much frustration with the postal system but she has been so cheery and so positive throughout it and she's just a very positive, loving, light spirit to buy from. So go give her some of your business. Click on her Etsy shop below and uh, tell her Micah sent you. And until next time, have a great day.